Hi, this is Dana of Blue Daffodil Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to sew cat ears on the top of any flat top beanie. Uh, today I'm using my Design the Speedwell hat, but you can use this technique with any hat you want as long as it's got a flat top. It can be crochet or knit or Tunisian crochet if you've got one of those. Uh, this technique will work for all of them. And uh, any flat top beanie will automatically create kind of a, a cat ear effect when you wear it but sometimes the shape is more subtle and this is going to create a more pronounced shape that's gonna hold its shape, be more firm and more uh, obvious that it's a cat ear. So to start with, we'll need the tools. You need a little bit more of the yarn that you were using so it's invisible and you don't see the stitches. You'll need, of course, some scissors, a needle. I've got a sharp-ended tapestry needle. This is actually an upholstery needle, which is really handy for sewing uh, yarn into the other plies of the other yarns that are here. It makes it uh, hold really well. And you may also want to use a ruler or a tape measure. You can eyeball this, but I find that I get better results if I measure how I want it before I begin. So let's start with the ruler. I need to figure out exactly where I want these ears to be, how deep they need to be, what angle. I would like mine to go from about here to here. So I'm gonna measure from the edge and I've got mm, about an inch and a half is what I want it to be from the outer edge. And I think I want it to be very square, about the same uh, inch and a half down from the top. And the reason I'm measuring now instead of just sewing it here is because if I sew it with the right side out, Forgive me, that's that's my daughter in the background. She's uh, she's playing. Um, if I sew it here with it out, right side out, you're going to actually see the stitching. I'm going to make the stitching invisible by flipping the hat inside out. Now you can't just stitch the corners here because when you turn it inside out, you're going to have a hat that looks <laughs> like this with the ear inverted. That's not what we're going for. What we're going to do is tuck this corner, bless you. We're gonna tuck this corner in and just have the ear almost right side out and then sew that in place. And that's why measuring is important. I wanna make sure that I've got the right width and that's about right. I wanted an inch and a half. And the line that you sew is actually going to be a little bit beyond where the stitching is going to be. Because whenever you turn that right side out, you know, the, the fabric is going to be uh, pulled by those stitches. So you want, I wanted an inch and a half in. The height is very important that I measure here. Inch and a half. Yep, just over an inch and a half. So what I want to do is to cut myself a length of yarn, thread my needle, and when I start sewing, I want to keep in mind two things. Number one, a lot of times this is a trial and error situation, so I want to keep my stitches nice and loose and leave myself long tails at the beginning and end of this in case I want to pull this out. If I don't like the way it looks when I'm finished, it's easy to remove the stitches, and if I do, I can just finalize it. The other thing is I don't want to sew too close to either of the edges. I want all my stitches to remain more interior. This will make it more invisible and those edge stitches are not necessary to keep the cat ear in place. So I'm going to start right here just off center and you don't need any special stitching. I'm just doing back and forth and keeping it loose. And you notice that's as far to the edge as I'm going to go. Be careful not to go through my working yarn because that'll really lock it in place. I want to keep this loose in case I want to undo anything. And you don't have to put a sewing stitch in every knit stitch. You can have nice wide gaps. This does not have to be fiddly or require a lot of stitching. This is a pretty slapdash quick thing. And that's about as far as uh, to the top as I'm going to go too. So I'm just going to put one more stitch here. And I'm going to leave these tails 
just like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side and I'll speed things up so I don't bore you and then we'll flip it outside, right side out and we'll see the finished result. Alright, that is the sewing done and you notice I've left all my tails and I sewed everything super loose and you notice they're not exactly even uh, visibly here, but on the opposite side, I think you'll find the opposite. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I love about this technique. If you're not the most proficient sewer, it's still nice and easy. And there, you can see that the cat ears have been made. And they are tiny cat ears. This is for my uh, infant daughter, uh, not for an adult. An adult will obviously, the ears will be much larger. But I've got the angles about where I want them. <laughs> and I think she likes it. What do you think? And it clearly looks like cat ears from either side, but you can't see any of those stitches. So what I'll do, if I like the ears where they are, all I have to do is fasten the ends. You can tie knots or you can even use uh, some textile glue if you have it, or you can just weave in the ends so that they don't go anywhere nice and secure. I'm a big fan of just weaving in the ends. going both directions so that no matter what direction the yarn is pulled, it's not coming out of it and just snip close to the fabric. And I'll do that with all the yarn tails. But that is how you make a cat ear beanie out of any flat topped hat. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at my email address or on any of my social media pages. Happy yarning.